One of the drawbacks when building a large structure in SCUM is the internal supports needed for a roof. If your building is a tower of more than two deep or a square or rectangle with more than three wide on any side, you're going to need to put a whole lot of supports in order to support a roof over the structure. Instead of having a nice big open area for your building, you're stuck with this building with supports running all the way up to the roof level to support the roof. Doesn't matter if you're using supports, walls, or any case, this ends up for a congested, crowded area here that's really kind of a pain in the butt to run around and do stuff in. Gets in the way for building, gets in the way for other structures, gets in the way for storage, and uh, generally doesn't look nearly as cool as you would think it would. Now, this doesn't have to be the way we build this. There are other options here. What if I told you you could build the exact same structure with a roof without having a single support down here? If I look up at the roof, you can see that these are actually supported by a support, but that support is just hanging off of the roof. This is enough to keep the roof up and give you this nice big open area here where you can do pretty much anything you need to within your base. So how does this happen? The easiest way to do this is to show you really quick how we make this happen. The idea is combining the supports here with an actual low wall or short wall as I call it. You can see that you can place the blueprint for a short wall, low wall in the same spot you put a support. Now once you do it turns the support red for a blueprint but if once I complete the actual low wall the blueprint for the support is now green and I can complete that. So if I do this all the way around this simple square, one support, low wall, finish, finish, support, low wall, fill, fill, and so forth. All right, so where we have our basic structure with a low wall inside a support all the way around. Now, we're just going to place a floor on top of this for that. For example, we could place some roof pieces on there, but uh, it's hard to get the one by one roofs to work fine. Right. Now, if we go back down here to the bottom and actually destroy the foundation that these are sitting on, an interesting thing happens. You can see here what's happened is the low wall and the foundation have been destroyed, but the low wall and support combination gives us a little bit of a buffer area where the structure does not auto-destroy headed up. If we go back up top here, we can actually still continue to build on this as well. So we can keep taking this up higher and higher each time. If I wanted to put another floating layer on top, I could also add this in as well. Now, you can only build on top of this structure that isn't touching the ground while you're still logged in. As soon as the server restarts or you log in and out, the game will recognize that this is no longer touching the ground and not let you build up there. Now, let's say you wanted to build that a little bit higher up. And for this one, we're going to make it uh, an actual ceiling. So let's make this a 4x4 four four foundation. There. Now we don't want this to come right off the ground floor, so the first way through we're just going to do supports the whole way. Back up top, here on the second level is where we're going to start actually placing the roof. Now I could do that from the outside here, but that's kind of a pain in the ass, so I'm going to build a little staircase here and fill in some floor chunks just so I can get around and do this a little bit easier. Fine, just doing a diagonal pattern here will work great for what we need and we'll do the same thing here.
Now we want to make this a floating roof. So we're going to go through and add a roof on top of this now. All right, let's take a step back, have a look, see if that worked the way we want. Yes, there we go. Now we have a simple roof over top. Now we're just going to go through, destroy the foundations. Here. And there we are. There we have a floating roof. Now, when I build this floating roof over here, I am building it exactly like I am here. I've got supports running all the way to the top. The only difference is the one support just underneath where the roof's going to be, I'm going to use a low wall and a support combination. That way, when I come back, I can destroy all these supports. They'll chain destroy all the way up and leave the supports and the roof in place, keeping that intact. All right, if you've made it this far into the video, thanks for watching this all the way through. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, whatever you can to help support future videos. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. More than happy to uh, explain things further if uh, anything here didn't make a whole lot of sense to you. All right, thanks for watching.